be in hook line? Why should the patient be in hook line? Do you guys not have a table? Because I'm a third. Plus strain on the back. Yeah. We'll go safe roll. Can you grab another table for them? How about the outline? Oh, we might need two tables. Oh my gosh. Alright, PT's facing me. So, you are going to start at this hard bone on the bottom. What is this hard bone? So you're going to look at the abdomen as four different quadrants and you should have a generic idea of what is in each quadrant. So if we are, when you do your palpation, you do not put fingers down. You do finger pads like this and you're going, well, you can overlap. You're going to sink in. It's a layered palpation. If you just do this, they're going to go, ah, and then it's just going to be abs. Anytime you're in the abdomen, flat finger pads, sinking down and in to whatever structure you are trying to find um, so that they gradually relax. If we are looking into the upper left quadrant, what are some areas we expect to find? Spleen. So stomach and? Spleen. Spleen. What problem? <laughs> Unless you're not. Some of us will not have one, but outside of that, can you normally palpate the spleen if there's no problem? No. Usually not. What problem do we worry about? Mono. Mono, the kissing disease. <laughs> ben, they're doing that. So, you want to, if once the, with mono, if your spleen is descended, that's when you can start to palpate it. And when you do, what are you going to find? So like a football. <laughs> hey, that's it. It's going to hurt. So, let's start with the left. So, you go right off the rib cage. Finger pads, straight down slowly. If they start to resist you, don't push harder. So any part of your quadrants, you can do um, rebound tenderness. So that's something where if you push down, they may or may not have pain. But if you let go and they have severe pain, that's rebound tenderness. No. Crystalline, what's your question? Oh, she got it. Good. Yeah. What is that like normally a sign of the rebound tenderness? Is that just like organ pain or is it anything specific? No, it's usually just organ pain. You worry about it mostly with the appendix, but technically it could be any organ. So you always want to, you're basically, when you push down, you're taking in information. And then when you let go, you're taking in information. That's your two main goals. <laughs> What are we taking down, Ryan, when we push down? Information. <laughs> so if you do get pain with the rebound, what is that indication? Did you just Severe pain is you're just worried about the organ in particular. Okay, so even so pressing on it versus the rebound pain. Could no, when you let when you So let pressing down, you're taking in info. It could just be painful. Maybe it's not. When you let go, if you get severe pain, that's rebound tenderness. That's what you care about. Well, you care about both, but that would be something that you'd be worried about. Yeah. So now if we go down to the ASIS and just go up and in a little bit, now we're in our lower left quadrant. And the same exact thing, we push down. What are we worried about here? Yeah, I intestinal tract. Are you filming and palpating in the morning? Why don't you just put the phone along his shoulder so you can use both hands? <laughs> <laughs> you need a tripod. Oh, oh, yeah. He's crazy. I, have I know. He's Check this out. I'll lend you my tripod. <laughs> uh, there's a GI. Good. Why is another reason we want to overlap our hands? Protect our hands. What happens if, uh, if CJ was 350 pounds? You'd be really pushing. Got to be digging my whole hand and arm in there. So you want to make sure that your fingers aren't hyperextending, which I know most of you are smiling like, oh yeah, my fingers go backwards. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So down here, GI, intestinal. Sometimes maybe you'll find something hard. Don't push it too much because then they're gonna have poop. <laughs> yeah. Ovaries. Yeah. 
deliveries, you have to go to the ASIS and more medial food room. And so, yes, you have to be aware of that because if you're looking to get the psoas tendon, you have to be aware on females if they go ow that you're not just poking their ovaries because, yes, they will be upset. I never have that family that I want. Okay, so that's lower left. Flip around for just so that they don't just see my back side. Okay, upper right quadrant, just under the ribs again. Straight down, what are we worried about up here? Liver. Liver. Pancreas, so gallbladder. Pancreas, gallbladder. Those are some areas of concern. So there should be associated drinking, associated... Um, are you trying to get under the ribs or just... You can do both. So you start with a general gross push down okay nothing if you're worried about something you can get let me cook your hand hook your fingers yeah. under the ribs yeah. okay lower right side appendix appendix one third from the umbilicus to the asis also known as umbilicus okay. <laughs> also known as belly button and navel navel yeah that's right oh, there's four things i can say there you go no, for the different ambassadors on the wrong syllable. So that's a general idea. So one third away from the belly button down to the ASIS is where you're worried about the appendix. So a third from the belly button or a third up from the ASIS? Should be belly button. Okay. So, is that your belly button? So this thing where it's like a little tender here. Oh, we got it. I'm glad you did it. That's that rebound tenderness. Okay. That's, that's a rebound. So here's your belly button. I'm going about like there. So a CJ, he's a little tender on the way down. If you but I'm not too concerned because he has no rebound tenderness. How hard would you say you're pushing on the skin that five is pushing into the table? Are you like a two? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's not really a hard push, it's just you're soft <laughs> getting down until it stops, and that's it. Because it's very different than if you're trying to get to the actual front of the spine and tendon. Because it feels natural, and I'm just thinking of what my primary care does, it's like, push, 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 push. Yeah, so if you use fingers, you're going to tense up yeah. if you use finger tips. So that's why, and especially when the area is tender, especially if you're going for deeper structures, you always have to keep your finger pads there. If there is a problem, you could always control the leg too to be able to get this even softer. That's Especially true. if they have a large anterior pelvic tilt. Uh, do you do this like depending on your subjective? Like I assume you don't do this for like all the patients. That no, just if you're on, concerned like, about like no, viscerogenic no. symptoms, viscerogenic um, complaints, that's when you look at this. Or let's say you don't do it right away and now you're worried about I couldn't reproduce their problems. Let me check this out. There has okay. to be something to lead you yeah. here. Any type of flank pain, trunk pain, I would do this because so many things can refer pain to the trunk and flank. Whereas if they're saying, yeah, I have um, you know, some leg symptoms, well, leg symptoms I would worry about it because I caught a kidney tumor once. So you have to be careful of leg symptoms as well since the kidneys lie so close to the... What about like below the knee, like where the knee and below, is that like usually okay? Uh, no, because if the kidneys are lumbar, they're going to refer some Oh, even down. that far down? Okay. Yeah, so it really just depends. But if their primary complaint is like pain here, I would worry. Other times, there has to be a reason to go along with it. Right. And when I did, caught the kidney tumor, he didn't come in and I was like, oh, you have a kidney tumor. It was looked like lumbar radiculopathy. Nothing mechanical was able to reproduce it. Yeah. So we were worried about the organs. He had pain along the kidneys. Okay, you need to get this checked out. And they found the tumor. Uh, oh, so now we go back to the xiphoid process. And if you go straight down midline to the belly button, and you just push down right into the middle, along that line, doesn't matter where. Small intestine. Small. What do you guys find? Small intestine. What do you feel? Linear. Oh. You feel bump, bump, bump. Abdominal aorta. So that's important. It should have a normal pulse. You should not have bounding, anything like that. 
unless they're super nervous, it should be pretty regular. When what you're looking for is outside of bounding pressure, you, which you don't want, you're now gonna trace this outwards, doesn't matter which side. You don't wanna have a, that pulse, you don't wanna have more than two finger widths or so away from the midline. If it's more than two or so fingers away, especially if it's bounding, this is where you can start worrying about aortic aneurysms and things like that. So there's a very big difference between bounding and strong pulse. What's up, Crystalline? It could be anywhere from the rib cage down. Subtle. So then you want to mark when does this when does the pulse go away? Because that would be important. So for CJ, it's maybe a centimeter, maybe an inch at most. That's normal, where I don't feel it anymore. It's like, Whereas if I feel this bounding and I go off to the side, off to the side, three, four inches out, it's still bounding. He has this radiating flank pain. His blood pressure is probably all types of abnormal. Those things I would be worried about. Maybe either side, because like the aneurysm yeah. developed. You're just too little. <laughs> Oh, nothing in the first No, I feel it. So we have upper See? I feel it all the way up. It could be one side. Faintly, but I feel it all the way up. Can you just get them up pro? No, you can't. Dave, don't reach first. Right? We're getting dumb and dumb. Yep, check both sides. Any questions on palpation for organs? Rebound tenderness, pulse width. You said normal is one centimeter. No, two fingers. two fingers. Roughly two fingers, and you're also making sure that it's not bounding at any point in time. Bounding is Because you can have a strong pulse, that's fine, but it shouldn't be on the sides of your stomach. And you're going to have associated symptoms with it. But you'll still feel, you can still feel a pulse depending on, like she, you could feel her pulse all the way out here. Right, depending on how hard you push, stuff like that, it can resonate through some tissues, okay. but does it correlate with her symptoms? Is there a defined border on one side than the other? Okay. What's the size of the person? <laughs> You're just little. So remember, rebound tenderness, you take your hands away, severe pain occurs, finger pads, pulse width, bounding, associated symptoms, possible flank pain, GI issues, drinking liver problems. If it's, we're not there with kidney yet, but do they have any blood in their pee, that type of thing. So that's just your quick abdominal assessment. If you find something. Say something. Say something. <laughs> that's where you refer out. If you don't have any mechanical symptoms, all you find is this assessment, you should get that checked out. These organs can commonly cause referral pain to the flank, flank being away from midline in the trunk especially if they have associated history to go along with it. Do we fix organs? Nope. No, so you have to send it to somebody who does. Uh, in the seated position, just sit up and face that way, I guess. For kidney, just a quick check. I see Jay's very intrusive. He's like some like interrogation style. Yeah, it really is. Just go about three or four inches above their pelvis on the right or the left, it doesn't matter because you're gonna do both. You're gonna place a fist on that spot. All good? Take your flat hand and you're going to hit the thumb part of that fist. That's it. Hey. That wasn't right. Are you going, you're on the side of the spine. Yeah, side of the spine. Then you go to the other side. Okay. A little warning. <laughs> Look like you're all you're missing is the baby powders. <laughs> you'll see people, you'll see in the